Now, everyone has a worldview, the way that you look at and perceive things in life. Whether you realize it or not, you have one. Your worldview is the big picture, the culmination of all your beliefs. It's the way we understand reality. A biblical worldview provides unique answers to these questions. Listen to what I just said. Our worldviews are shaped and formed by these five ideas. The book of Genesis 1, 2, and 3 form the basis for our biblical worldview. Starting in verse 1. It says, So the creation of the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. On the seventh day, God had finished his work of creation, so he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and declared it holy, because it was the day when he rested from all of his work of creation. This is the account of creation of the heavens and the earth. Hebrews 4, 9 to 10 says, So there is, he says, so there is a Sabbath rest still waiting for the people of God. For all who have entered God's rest have rested from their labors just as God did after creating the world. True Sabbath keeping is realizing that it is God working in you, giving you the desire and the power to do what pleases him. That's the true Sabbath rest. In Genesis chapter 1, God refers to himself as Elohim. Jehovah Elohim means a God of power and perfection, meaning he is a God who finishes what he started. He, now this is significant because God is self-identifying as a personal, relational God he wants to be related to. He isn't simply a creator, an invisible, powerful force that fashioned the universe together, set everything into motion, and then just sits back. Okay, let's pray to close. Heavenly Father, we thank you.